let me show you guys how to make this delicious puff puff growing up this was my all-time favorite snack to um go to school with i can eat it as lunch i can eat it as breakfast you know kids so let's jump in let me show you how to make it so let's start by adding the dry ingredients together that is flour nutmeg um salt sugar um powdered milk um i use dry instant yeast if you're using any other yeast please try and proof your yeast first before adding it to the mixture okay especially if your yeast has been staying in your counter for a long time i have a video up here on how to um know a good yeast and a bad yeast so go and watch it all right so mix everything together then add some water um i'm going to leave all the measurements and the ingredients in the description below so check it out add your water in a bit all right so that you don't over add water you can easily over add water i like to add my water bit by bit because um depending on the country you're watching from all the flowers are not the same okay some can take more water some some will take lesser water so add it bit by bit until you get the right consistency by the end of this video i'm going to show you how you can store this and use it anytime you want the texture of the batter will determine how um, your puff puff will come out if it's too thick your puff puff is definitely going to be strong okay so add enough water and uh, loosen up your batter I actually added more water than I should so I reduced it and continued but this was enough okay um, it's almost to the consistency that I want guys please try and beat your batter until it becomes smooth because sometimes you get some lumps those those lumps are combination of some flour some yeast and all the ingredients you added that is not properly mixed so try and beat your batter until it becomes smooth so once it's smooth get your clink film and cover it okay then cover it with another um, probably your kitchen towel or a plate and put in a warm place uh, it takes about 45 minutes to one hour it depends on depends on how warm the area where you kept it is so when you know when, how to know that it's ready is when you open it up and it has doubled in size or even tripled in size okay then you know your batter is ready once you touch it if you don't see all those air bubbles charlie it's not ready <laughs> okay so once it's ready um heat up your oil as of now i've already hit um, my oil is already heating up while i'm trying to show you this how you can um, drop it in the oil so just grab some butter in your hand and use your index finger and your thumb together and drop it but first of all you need to taste um, you need to test how the oil is and how you do that is to get some of the butter and throw it inside the oil if it springs up that means the oil temperature is right if it doesn't please heat up your oil a little bit i suggest them um, low to medium heat okay it's completely okay if you don't get it round like this <laughs> i don't do this all the time but still anytime i try it it always come out perfect so don't beat yourself when you don't get it round like this practice makes them um, perfect like they say so try it every time and you will get used to it this is not something you can put on the fire and you go to run some errand no you need to stay there and turn uh, occasionally okay you need to turn it occasionally because um it's not something that can stay one place <laughs> as you can see i'm even battling to turn turn it properly so you need to turn it occasionally when it's browning you turn it turn the white parts downwards so that they can um fry evenly for those of us who do small chops and business 
this will be a good addition to your small chops okay people love this and this for this recipe it's so delicious if you can use this recipe i'll be happy if you can try it and let me know what you think in the comment section and again i want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to all the people that subscribe to this channel i'm so happy i'm so grateful thank you guys i can't really emphasize enough how happy and excited i am that this channel is growing for the spicy puff puff kindly chop some onion and some pepper to your own preference okay and mix it into the remaining butter all right mix it together and fry it guys this is my favorite my favorite favorite too i can never emphasize enough <laughs> i i love spicy food so this is how to make a spicy puff puff guys i made a video on how to make commercial yogurt and it got a whole lot of interest a lot of views and people are asking about a whole lot of questions so i took my time to write down all my knowledge about commercial business commercial yogurt business how you can start and scale up the business and how to measure your ingredients in a larger quantity so the ebook is on my page do go and check it out okay if you want to start a commercial yogurt business now to how you can preserve your puff puff after you have fried it and it has cooled down just put it in a plate and use a cling film to cover it and put in your fridge but this puff puff is so delicious that you, you can't even let it last the next day but i'm just giving you this, this tip in case probably you're selling it and then um, you didn't sell all in a day which i know you will sell you can put it in the fridge and the next day you can microwave it so guys this is the puff puff can you see how delicious it is don't you want to eat my screen <laughs> guys this pop pop is so delicious it didn't even wait till the next day thank you for watching guys subscribe and see you in my next video